Hey, here we go. So I have x plus 5 equals log base 4 of 256. So again, to solve a problem like this, what we're going to want to do is rewrite this logarithm in exponential form. So what I have is 4 raised to what power equals 256? Well, that answer is some number plus 5. So to do this, the main important thing is I'm going to want to rewrite this in exponential form. So just to kind of go back and review this, I like doing this example often. So logarithms, remember, say base 5 raised to what power gives me 25? We know the answer is 2. So by rewriting that in exponential form, I can just say 5 squared equals 25. So what to do to rewrite this in exponential form, we have to make sure, again, that the base is exactly the same. So notice the base of my logarithm is the base of my exponent. So I have 4 raised to the x plus 5 equals 256. So now we got an issue, right? Because we got to solve for a variable that's as an exponent. It's up there. So how, how are we going to solve for a variable up there? So the best thing to do is get this variable not as an exponent. And the only way that we've learned how to do that so far is by eliminating our bases. And we can only eliminate our bases when we have bases that are exactly equal to each other, which we stated. You know, if I said 2 squared equals 2 to the x, we know we don't need those bases there because we know x has to equal 2, or even do this. If 3, we know x has to equal 3, so we don't need these bases here. We can just say our exponents are equal to one another. So I need to see, can I rewrite um, 256 as a base 4? And it ends up being true. Yes, I can. I can write 4 to the x plus 5 equals 4 raised to the fourth power. So 4 raised to the fourth power is 256. Now, I don't need those bases. And I can have x plus 5 equals 4. Subtract 5, x equals negative 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve um, when given a single logarithm with a variable in the, uh, in the as an x one. Thanks.